In this video, we will learn how to draw all of the conformations of butane as Newman projections, and I am going to teach you my tips and tricks. But first, what is a Newman projection? It's a shorthand way to represent a molecule looking straight down bond connecting two carbons. For example, if you're this person on the left, looking at this molecule, you will face this carbon straight on, this will be your front carbon, and on top, you will see group A, so this is my group A, and this is my front carbon. To the right, you will see group C, and to the left, you will see group B. Carbon, this carbon behind it is the back carbon, and in the Newman projection, it's represented by this circle. And this carbon is attached to fluorine that's going down, so you would see fluorine down group D to the left and group E to the right. So this is how to understand Newman projection. And this Newman projection is called staggered because the groups on the front carbon and the groups on the back carbon are spread out. If we go ahead and we rotate around the single bond in such a way where the groups on the back carbon will be right directly behind the groups on the front carbon. Let's see what we have. So again, you're this person staring at this front carbon. A is on top, B is to the left, C is to the right. Now, the back carbon will be directly behind the front carbon. So again, it's represented by the circle. And the groups will be right behind one another. So group A, F will be behind A, group E will be behind group C, and group D will be behind group B. And this conformation is called eclipsed conformation. So there are two kinds of conformations you will be drawing. Staggered, where all of the groups are spread out, and eclipsed, where the groups are behind each other. It's important to note that staggered is more stable and lower in energy than eclipsed. And with that in mind, we will go ahead and we will look at how to draw all of the conformations of butane. So this is my butane molecule. This is carbon 1, 2, 3, and 4. And your teacher will specify which carbons you're supposed to look at if there are multiple possibilities. So here we're looking at carbon 2 to carbon 3 bond. What we're going to do is we're going to look at this carbon and this will be our front carbon and we will ask what three groups is it attached to, not counting the carbon be behind it. So this carbon is attached to two hydrogens and a methyl, so I'll draw methyl and two hydrogens any way I want because I have to draw all of the conformations of butane, so this is how I started. And you can choose to start with either eclipsed or staggered. I am choosing to start with eclipse conformation. And then we look at carbon number three, that's the back carbon. And what groups is carbon number three attached to? Two hydrogens and a methyl. And in this case, I'm putting methyl here, hydrogens here. You can put them any way you want, as long as you draw all of the conformations. If that's what the question is asking, you can start any way you'd like. So the trick is to draw all of the conformations. We will keep the front carbon the same. So we will just redraw the front carbon the same for all of them. As you can see, I have drawn here. And we will rotate the back carbon to go from eclipse to staggered, eclipse, staggered, eclipse, staggered, and so on until we reach our, until we go back to where we began from. Altogether, we will have six different conformations, three staggered conformations and three eclipsed. So if we rotate, this is eclipsed right now, we rotate to make staggered, this methyl group will now be here, this hydrogen will now be here, and this hydrogen will now be here. That's my staggered conformation. Then we rotate again. This methyl group will be behind this hydrogen, this hydrogen behind this hydrogen, this hydrogen behind this methyl group. And we keep rotating to going from eclipse to staggered, eclipse to staggered, and that's how you will get all of your conformations. Next, we also need to know how to identify 
which conformations are higher in energy and which conformations are lower in energy. First, all of the eclipse conformations are higher in energy than staggered. Eclipse is always higher in energy and less stable than staggered conformation. So A, C, and E will be higher in energy and less stable than B, D, and F. Let's look at the staggered conformation because we need to learn a couple more terms. In a staggered conformation, if two big groups are next to each other, this is called gauche interaction. I hope I'm pronouncing this correctly. So, is it, do you think this is stabilizing or destabilizing? The answer is, it's not stable because we do not want big groups bumping into each other and being in each other's space. This causes steric strain. So the more gauche interactions our, our molecule has, our conformation has, the higher in energy and less stable it will be. We can see that for B, there is one gauche interaction, and for F, there is one as well. So these two should be the same energy. If we look at this molecule, we'll see that the two big groups are opposite of each other. This is called anti. That makes the molecule happy. This makes this conformation is lowest in energy because the two big groups are opposite of each other. So anti-conformation will be lowest in energy. If we look in the eclipse conformations, which one do you think is the highest in energy? So here I see two big groups next to each other. That's destabilizing. They're in each other's space as opposed to here, they're further apart, and here they're further apart as well. So this confirmation A would be highest in energy because the two big groups are next to each other. So if we look at the confirmations, first of all, all of the eclipsed should be higher in energy than all of the staggered. So A, C, and E will be higher in energy than B, D, and F. And among the eclipsed in this confirmation, we see that we have two big groups next to each other, so this would be highest in energy. C and E will be the same energy. These two would be the same energy. Then we go to staggered, and we have two, two staggered confirmations that have one gauche interaction, so B and F. And then D would be lowest in energy because it's staggered, where the two big groups are opposite of each other, which is anti.